Hello and welcome to the DB Schema channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to design a real structured schema for MongoDB, even though it's a NoSQL database. We'll explore how to define your collections visually, create validation rules to enforce structure and prevent bad data, and even set up virtual relationships to better understand how your data connects. You can share the model using Git integration and generate interactive documentation. When you're working with traditional relational databases like PostgreSQL or MySQL, things usually go like this. First, a data architect designs the schema. They define the tables, relationships, and data types. Then, the developers build the application and write the queries based on that structure. Also, these databases usually run on a single server, so to handle more traffic, you need a bigger, more powerful machine. This is called vertical scaling. Now, in MongoDB, things are more flexible. You usually start by writing the application and storing data right away. You don't need a predefined schema. You can adjust the data model as your app grows, and it's easy to evolve both the application and the structure over time. Plus, MongoDB can spread collections across multiple servers. That's horizontal scaling, which helps a lot with performance and large data sets. Now let's look at how data modeling actually works, both in relational databases and in MongoDB. Let's take a simple app, like a movie platform. We have users, movies, and reviews. In a traditional SQL database, you'd have separate tables for each. One for users, one for movies, and one for reviews. Each table is structured. Relationships are clearly defined using foreign keys, and everything is normalized. You define the schema first, then insert the data, which keeps things consistent and avoids duplication. In MongoDB, we can use the same structure. Each document lives in its own collection. Users, movies, reviews. We connect them by storing object IDs, like user ID and movie ID, inside the review document. This approach is called referencing. It keeps data normalized and is great when documents are shared between collections or grow large. But unlike SQL, in MongoDB, you usually insert data right away, without defining the structure first. But MongoDB also lets you use embedded documents. Instead of splitting data across collections, you can store reviews and even user information directly inside the movie document. This improves read performance and avoids joins, but makes updates harder if that data is reused elsewhere. But what if I told you that you can still use a SQL style approach, even in MongoDB? With DB Schema, you can design your schema visually, generate documentation, and share your model through Git for better team collaboration. All in one place, using a database design tool built for modern databases. Let me show you how it works. Let's open an existing database. DB Schema connects through Mongo's and reverse engineers the schema. What you see here is a visual diagram built from sample documents in your database, giving you a starting point to explore and refine your model. Collections with validation rules are shown as real structures. Others appear as virtual collections based on sample data. There is one thing that helps MongoDB enforce some structure. It's called schema validation. Usually, you'd write code into the shell to define validation rules manually. You can still do that into Query Editor. And you will see it right away. But in the DB schema, it's even easier. You just right-click a collection in the diagram, give it a name, define the fields, 
Choose the validation level in action. And that's it. The rule gets created directly in the database and helps ensure data integrity. You can also create virtual collections in DB Schema. These aren't pushed to the database, but they're great for planning and collaboration. They let data architects design a schema before development starts. Need relationships? You can create virtual relationships between collections, which help you visually explore connections in the data browser. In DB Schema's diagram, click on any collection to open the Relational Data Editor, a powerful tool for viewing and editing documents. You'll see your collection data displayed in a familiar, spreadsheet-like view. If you've defined virtual relationships, you can expand related documents and explore how collections connect. You can also insert, delete, or edit documents directly from this view. And with filters and sorting, it's easy to focus on the data that matters, even across linked collections. You can also add indexes to improve performance comments and tags to document your design. Generate interactive HTML5 documentation with virtual relationships, field types, and descriptions. You can finally document your MongoDB schema and see it visually, whether you're a developer, data analyst, or data architect. It's the perfect way to share structure and keep everyone on the same page. Everything you build in this workspace is actually your model. The entire model is saved as a DBS file, an XML format you can use to synchronize the schema across different MongoDB databases. Keep in mind, only the validation rules will be implemented in the actual database. Regular collections and virtual relationships exist only inside the DB Schema project for design and documentation purposes. You can also share this model with your team using DB Schema's built-in Git integration. This lets you track changes to the schema over time, collaborate on design just like you do with code, and avoid conflicts when working in parallel. It's a powerful way to keep your database structure, version, documented, and in sync across the whole team. DB Schema also works offline, so you can design anytime, anywhere. Use the Visual Query Builder to search, filter, and explore your data. or generate random data based on your validation rules for testing. You can download DB Schema for free and see for yourself how it can simplify MongoDB schema design and collaboration. Thank you for watching. Be sure to explore our other tutorials to get the most out of your DB schema experience.